The problem we're having here is that we're not taking care of the quotes in the HTML markup. Actually, anything that's within these quotes in HTML markup should not end HTML markup. In particular, not the greater sign in here. So we need to extend our program appropriately. The idea is as follows. Rather than having two states, one for regular text and one for HTML markup, we're going to have a third state, which will handle anything that's within quotes. Just as before, we start in a non-tag mode, and when we see a less than sign, we go into tag mode. This is what we do when we process this very input, and we stay in this mode until we find a quote. That's when we go in quote mode, and we stay in quote mode until we find another quote. That's when we go back into tag mode, which happens right here. When we see the greatest sign, we exit tag mode, and we process the individual characters, and we add them to the output. Thus, our output should now become foo, as expected. The remaining tag is processed just as before. So in order to implement this, we're going to use two variables, one variable tag and one variable quote, to indicate the three different states our program can be in. 